What's up YouTube, Rob A here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Mega Bloks Assassin's Creed Fortress Attack. Uh, now this is the second largest of the Assassin's Creed sets currently available. Um, and it only has two micro action figures, which is kind of a, it's kind of a small amount, but, uh, it's alright. It, uh, has 314 pieces and retails for about 25 bucks. Uh, so as you can see, it is a fortress. Well, it's a tower of a fortress, and this is the, uh, one of the iconic towers from the Assassin's Creed series, uh, specifically two, I believe, um, as it uh, has Ezio and, uh, and an Italian mustachioed guard here. Uh, looks like we've got some, uh, some little play features going on here. You can see uh, some hand and foot holds uh, kind of scattered around, uh, as well as this kind of wheel and, uh, you know, the, uh, <laughs> this little uh, rope and pulley system here uh, with what looks like, I don't know, a chunk of concrete or, or something uh, supposedly there. So pretty neat uh flipping it right over uh we can see you've got uh Ezio Auditore da Firenze and uh he's you can have him in uh either plain clothes with this little uh I guess he comes with a hairpiece maybe and then the the hood and the, the you know assassin's outfit pretty cool customized with authentic accessories and whatnot uh, show, so, uh, shows again here the pulley system, and that's pretty cool. Superposable micro action figures, of course, uh, jumping all over the, the tower and stuff like that. So pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I, I guess this is supposed to be the uh, kind of the lookout towers, you know, where you get the, the viewpoint of the city. And uh, just down here shows you some of the, uh, the co-sale items here, some of the smaller sets. We've already done that one. Uh, hopefully I'll get that one soon, and I don't I don't know about that one. That one's expensive. It's like 50 bucks. But uh, anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this set put together, and we will check it out in just a moment. All right, guys. So here is the fortress attack, and uh, I have to say, uh, one one quick thing right off the bat that I did notice is uh, the instructions here are just on very very plain paper, um, which is fine. I mean, there's nothing really terrible about that. Uh, it's just that they, they may not hold up to any kind of abuse. And also, it, uh, it tends to make the, the pictures, the instructions themselves, a little bit muddy. So it can sometimes be a little more difficult to tell uh, what color bricks they want you to use. So just, uh, just keep that in mind. And uh, that's really all I have to say about that. So, here, let's check out the micro action figures uh, for this set. And we'll start off with uh, Mr. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what to call him. Uh, this mustachioed gentleman here. We'll call him uh, Mario Luigi. So, here is Mario Luigi uh, looking quite dapper in his uh, guardsman outfit. Uh, he's got a nice, nice big pole axe here. And that's pretty pretty darn cool. I do like this mold quite a bit. Uh, very nice looking. Uh, here's our dear friend. For those of you not familiar with these sets as of yet, uh, you can in fact take off his little his little uh, beret, and he's got a nice big hole in his head. Uh, you can also take off his head in its entirety uh, to get the uh, the vest off so you got that going on and you can disassemble the characters just like you can with the uh, Call of Duty and now uh, Halo micro action figures so there you go but overall it's a very nice design I like it uh, the paint work is good for the most part they still need to work on their faces a little bit but that's that's okay so you got that guy and uh, we'll just give him his, his little pole axe and he can just kind of hang out over. Yeah. Uh, next up is uh, my favorite micro action figure in this set uh, out of two. And uh, it is Ezio. Looking pretty cool. Uh, I do really like the darker uh, assassin's outfit. I know I said 
I believe in one of my previous Assassin's Creed videos that I didn't really like the lighter colors that they were using because uh, they got kind of washed out and didn't really, you know, didn't really look so great. Uh, but this looks really, really nice. It's got dark gray for the hood and the, the like, skirt piece and uh, black for the little bit over his vest. Uh, and it just looks pretty nice. And you can, of course remove all of this stuff and uh, pop his head off Get, uh, take this whole bit off I think <laughs> I hope I don't have to zig his arm off to get this thing off no maybe not come on come on guy there we go alright we got that Let's pull his waist apart. There we go. We got that. Let's get this little bit. He doesn't have. Uh... Yeah. There you go. And you can pull these off as well. Little uh, wrist blades. Put his head back on. And he even comes with a little hair piece to give him. So now he is just plain old Ezio, just hanging out. Hey guys, and uh, I think I tossed his sword that they give him up here. So there you go. He's got a little sword, and now he can avenge his family and all this other stuff. Just like so. So pretty cool. Uh, we'll just put that guy aside for the moment and check out the rest of the set. Okay, so as for the tower itself, um, it's very basic, it's very simple. Uh, there's a there's a pretty decent piece count, but the majority of, majority of it uh, really goes into the roof here with the tiling pattern, uh, which is, I mean, it looks, it looks okay. Um, and then, of course, a lot of it's just small tiles here and there, uh, kind of scattered about. But the majority of the set is, um, I'm going to try and get this, it's kind of really tall and, uh, and it's just in a confined space. But basically all of these big pieces here, uh, you can see kind of on the inside, they're all just big panel pieces uh, here and here and like all of these. Uh, bits are all just big panels. So you're just basically making an outline and then just filling it all in with these big panels. And that's on the out, like overall not terrible. Um, the only thing is, it, it really is just this wall here and then just this very thin tower. Uh, so, I mean, you've got stuff you can do in here. You've got room, you know, little rooms, just empty rooms, uh, but little rooms up here where you can kind of hide. Hide your dudes, sneak you know Ezio up in there, and uh, and that's fine. But as far as overall play, there's not a whole lot of like there's no interior, there's nothing going on, there's not even like details in here, uh, which is kind of a bummer. I would have liked to see just a little more fleshing out, um, just anything at all. But that's okay. Um, I mean overall, it's it's not it's not terrible. Uh, and you do get the nice tower up here, and it is nice and tall. I mean, that's that's the the saving grace here. And and you've got some uh, some play features as well, and we'll go over those uh, real quickly here. So you've got all of the nice little uh, <laughs> little sticks or flagpoles jutting out for no no particular reason uh, that uh, the games were very fond of. But they usually had like clothes or something hanging on them, but. Uh, you know, you can have your heavy dude hanging out up there, like so, you know, flipping up and everything else. And you've got, of course, these little, these little bits sticking out all over the place that you can use as footholds for, uh, for Ezio here. And it reminds me a lot of the, uh, the Lego Prince of Persia sets, but I guess you're, you're dealing with kind of the same, uh, same basic principles here, so that certainly works in that regard. And uh, and then you've got 
Uh, well, of course, you've got the, the, the let me see, it's too tall. Uh, you've got the lookout point up here, which is kind of cool. It's not, it's not like a bird head or anything, but you can, you can have uh, Ezio stand out here on the edge and look out over the city. You know, save your game. <laughs> and then, uh, last but not least, uh, well, it's not even the last. We'll, we'll get into that in just a second. But you do also get this little, uh, you get this chunk of brick up here, which is now off camera. And you get this little, uh, little tied down bit here. And you can have your dude grab onto that. Maybe, kind of. Grab it, buddy. <clears throat> Grab it. Okay, there you go. And then you just unplug it from its little, it's got a little bit that it's plugged into. And then, whoop, you can, uh, you know, get a ride up. So you got that. Uh, and maybe, I don't know, you're supposed to cut the rope or whatever, but uh, it works. It works really nicely. There, there are a few instances where uh, Ezio's going to get slammed in the head but uh, you know for the most part for the most part it works out oh that that hit him pretty hard that took his his uh his hood off which is not not a, an easy task um there is one definite thing i really want to point out about this set um and it's a little hard to see perhaps but i want you to take a look at this knot that's on this piece I did not make that knot. I'm not capable of making that knot with my big stupid fingers. Um, this entire rope piece and the two ends and the piece in the middle uh, that it goes through were, were already tied. Uh, they were in the package already tied, uh, which I don't know how I feel about that. I mean... Uh, well, I know how I feel about it. I don't know how you guys will feel about that. Um, I feel fine about it because I absolutely... This is the part I hate most about any building set, is having to tie these little things. Uh, just because my fingers are just... They don't, they don't work <laughs> the way they used to, for sure. And it's hard to manipulate little tiny pieces of string and get, you know, decent-looking knots on things. Um... So I'm fine with that, but it's it's just interesting to see that they they actually came pre-tied. I don't know if it was like a, you know a, a response group that they they talked to and and kind of polled about that, and they said they would rather have them tied up uh, beforehand. But yeah, like I said, not much to this tower. It has one feature that's not documented uh, anywhere on the packaging, but you do get this breakaway wall here um, for whatever reason. I don't know if, you know, maybe it leads to a tomb or, or something. You can, you know, make that up on your own. Uh, but the thing is, these pieces are just so, uh, so tight that it is very difficult to get this. Uh, maybe not anymore now that I kind of did it once. But, yeah, no, it's still difficult. It, it's very, very hard to get this back in here because uh, it's supposed to just slot in. It's got the, uh, the flat piece on the top and of course you know goes on to these two tiles right here and uh, I just had a heck of a time getting that to uh, to go back in so you gotta kind of lift it from the back and just kind of wiggle it on in and there you go and you've got a breakaway wall in there which is kind of cool I guess so yeah, um, overall it's it's rather expensive for uh, just kind of a, a wall and you know two micro action figures. Uh, I will say they are nice action. They are nice figures. I do like them a lot. I love the Ezio. He's easily my favorite of the assassins uh, figures that we've seen so far. And I think going by the pictures that I've seen of the other sets, he probably will remain that way for the most part um but i you know if you can get him cheaper in another set down the line you may want to hold on for that hold out for that or even if it's not a cheaper set just one that's not i've already explained my stance in other videos on just 
walls. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of just Lego walls or brick built walls. I, I prefer something a little more substantial, but that's, that's of course my personal preferences and you don't have to hold to those whatsoever. Uh, so yeah, but overall, um, I really like the figures. Uh, the set has some decent play features to it. It's just a little bit, uh, a little bit sparse for my taste, but, uh, Overall, not, not terrible. Anyway, that is going to do it for this view, guys. I want to thank you so very much for watching, as always. Uh, I'll hopefully have more uh, Assassin's Creed sets coming up real soon. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.